Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's me again Chelsea and today I am bringing you a slightly different video. So this is a version of Come Book Shopping With Me. So a couple of weeks ago now I think I went to Hay on Wye. So it is a small town, it is the first bookish town in the UK and it is based in Wales. I went there with my friend and I have got some b-roll footage to show you of the insides of a couple of the shops. I was hoping to get way more footage than I actually did get but that was because it was unexpectedly busy and I don't know why I was so shocked it was a Saturday in July but the weather was terrible it was raining on and off but it was such a good day so I'm gonna insert the b-roll now and then we will come back and we will discuss the books that I picked so I hope you enjoy the b-roll a range of the shops that I actually went and visited. I didn't really get any, like I said, outside shots of like the actual little town itself because there were so many people. I was hoping that it would be a lot quieter and I would be able to like whip my camera out and get like, you know, those scenic shots that you'd all want to see. But I didn't, I'm really sorry, but I will probably be going there again. So maybe when it's less quiet, I'll be able to do that again. I did find though that this was the first time ever that I actually didn't feel self-conscious filming. Like if people came around the corner in the bookshops, then I wasn't like fussed or anything. And I think it was because of how much of a tourist trap it is. But I'm hoping to work on my like public vlogging thing so I can build up my courage and actually get out there and vlog some more stuff for you. Now for the books that I actually managed to buy I came away with three. There were quite a few that I picked up and put down. I very nearly bought um uh, the very long the long way down to Angry Planet. That title is horrific but the Becky Chambers book I almost bought that in one of the bookshops. I almost bought Eye of the Worlds. I almost bought the whole of the ship of Magic Trilogy by Robin Hobb in like the old mass market paperback versions. Put them back because I was like, well, I want them all to match. And I have this lovely edition of Assassin's Apprentice. And I know that they all kind of come like this and I think I'd want them all to match, especially now that I own that book. And I also know that it's really tricky to get hold of the mass market paperbacks. So I wouldn't want to be like scouring through to try and find them and I also don't want to buy double editions of them for no reason so I talked myself out of that. I almost bought the third book in the Long Way Down to an Angry Planet series because that was in one of the bookshops for like two pounds and I was like oh well I could buy the third book and then just but what's the point because I didn't know if I would like the rest of them. What else did I almost buy? I also did pick up like odd books that I was like oh I don't really know if I'm gonna like this but I want to try it so maybe I'll just buy it and I talked myself out of that because I have a habit of doing that when I go to Hay just picking up random books I'm like oh yeah I want to give this a try but not being 100% sure if I want to give them a try and they end up just sitting on my shelves for ages and that's frustrating because then you just have loads of books that you haven't read just sat on your shelves. But the other annoying thing is that constantly as, as I was walking around Hay and Y, I constantly found like the third, the fourth, the fifth 
books in series that sounded so amazing and I just couldn't find the first ones so I mean that's the only downside with Hay I think. Hay is a fantastic place to visit especially if you are a reader which I'm guessing if you're watching this video you probably are. It is a lovely tourist trap it is a lovely part of wales there's a lot going on there's loads of there's a couple of like lovely little cafes there's little shops dotted here and there it is such a nice place but they don't always stock books that maybe you'd go there looking for so like i said i almost bought the whole of the ship of magic oh the live ship trilogy that's what it's actually called i almost bought that whole trilogy but they didn't have it in the covers that i would like so it's one of those things to bear in mind. You never know what you're going to find in Hay, which is one of the reasons I love going, but I am so glad that I have developed self-restraint since then because I would have walked out with all sorts of books that I probably wouldn't have read. And if you can hear children screaming, I'm really sorry. I don't know why they always seem to scream whenever I put the camera on, but there you go. That seems to be what happens. Right, let's get into the exciting things. So I'm going to talk you through the three books that I chose. Um, the first one being the book of Co Coley by M.R. Carey. And I got this from Richard Booth's bookshop cafe and cinema unfortunately the cafe was closed due to covid but i love that when you go there and buy books you get one of these lovely bookmarks every time so i've got one or two of these they're really nice and they just list all the books they have secondhand books new books and then all of the things this was one of the new books a lot of the secondhand books in this store are again old covers kind of thing mass market paperbacks i wouldn't say that they have a selection of books in their secondhand section that i would be like yes i need to buy that but you might be different but i did buy this one from there so this is a brand new book so it was a 99 it's a little bit wrecked now because it did manage to make it through the rain but i bought this because i was like oh i haven't seen a book for ages that's got one of these step back pages and i go on amazon and i was like oh they're selling the step back version on amazon but obviously this is better because i was supporting an independent bookstore i really love that feeling that's the thing that i actually adore about hay is that pr i'm pretty sure most of the shops if not all of them are independent stores um obviously they do sell new books but i would have thought that they'd have to sell new books because there aren't many places that sell brand new books but i'm rambling the one thing i did find as well with a lot of these places and i find this everywhere i go is that the fantasy and the sci-fi sections are particularly particularly small that really hurts my heart because obviously i am a massive sci-fi fantasy reader and not being able to find like a large selection of those kind of books really makes me sad but i think that's a common thing is that everywhere will have a large selection of kids books and like fiction contemporary that kind of thing but not necessarily fantasy in that but i bought this because i'm pretty sure i don't know who or when i've seen this but i saw this and i was like oh that's one that I really want to try and why not buy it here so I'm gonna read the back because I don't really know a lot about it this is sci-fi this is dystopian but it just says everything that lives hates us beyond the walls of the small village of my thin rude lies an unrecognizable landscape a place where overgrown forests are filled with choker trees and deadly seeds that will kill you where you stand. And if they don't get you, the shunned men will. Crowley has lived in Mythen Rood his entire life. He believes the first rule of survival is that you don't venture too far beyond the walls. He's wrong. The Book of Coley begins a breathtakingly original new trilogy set in a strange and deadly world of our own making. It sounded really good so i was like yeah let's give this a shot and i really like dystopians at the minute and it is sci-fi july so i was like oh well we'll pick that up why don't we so there's the first one now the next two i got from probably my favorite store and i can never tell you what it's called because i don't know but it's one of those stores that has a load of brand new books but they are at a reduced price for whatever reason i'm not too sure but this place holds a special place in my heart because i met jacqueline wilson there when i was like in year six so i must have been like 11 um at hay festival because they do a summer and a winter festival and i met her in that bookshop at a summer festival whatever year that was and she actually signed two of my books that i was buying that day which i think is really cool but that's i think that's one of the reasons i love hay so much is just the people i've met there i met john Connolly, who is also another amazing author i've got a couple of his books i've got a signed book of his as well because 
I met him there and I bought it from him there so I don't know it's just really cool um and then the so yeah these two books came from that shop and they are both Neil Gaiman books I got American Gods and I got the Anansi Boys Anansi Boys is that how you say it I love these covers these are the covers that I seem to collect so I've got Stardust and Neverwhere in these covers and I almost got fragile things as well which is another one by him um because it is in the same cover but it doesn't have like the shiny debossed bit on it it was just printed on so I, I talked myself out of it but i think these were like three three forty five each basically this these two cost me nine pound ninety the book of Cody cost me 8 99 because it is brand new um but yeah i don't know why they do these at reduced costs but i got these two Funny story actually, the last time I went to Hay I almost bought American Gods because I have listened to the audio, I did enjoy it. I want to read it physically though because I feel like I missed a lot of it if I'm completely honest. Um, but they only had the movie cover so I'm really glad that I talked myself up buying it that time because now I actually have it in the cover that I like which is great. So if you don't know anything about this book it is just, is nothing sacred. Days before his release from prison, Shadow's wife Laura dies in a mysterious car crash. Numbly, he makes his way back home. On the plane, he encounters the enigmatic Mr. Wednesday, who claims to be a refugee from a distant war, a former god and the king of America. Together, they embark on a profoundly strange journey across the heart of the USA. Whilst all around them, a storm of preternatural and epic proportions threatens to break. Scary, gripping and deeply unsettling, American Gods takes a long hard look into the soul of America. You'll be surprised by what and who it finds there. I did really enjoy this one. I listened to it so yeah I want to read it again physically. And then Anansi Boys is God is dead, meet the kids. Fat Charlie Nancy is not having a good week. His estranged father recently dropped dead on a karaoke stage and has left Fat Charlie with much more than just embarrassment. Because, you see, Charlie has just discovered that his dad wasn't just any dad. He was Anansi, the trickster spider god. Anansi is the spirit of rebellion, able to overturn the social order, create wealth out of thin air, and even baffle the devil. No wonder Fat Charlie's life is about to be turned upside down. Written by one of fiction's most audaciously original talents, Anansi Boys is a kaleidoscopic journey deep into myth that is at once startling, terrifying, exhilarating, and fiercely funny. So, sounds good. Apparently this is meant to be like the second book to the American Gods, but I don't think it is. I'm not too sure. I have no idea. Either way. I now own four books in these covers, so Anansi Boys, American Gods, Stardust and Neverwhere, all of which I've bought in Hay and Y, so it's become a bit of a tradition. So yes, those are the three books that I've actually bought from Hay. I really enjoyed my time there, it was so good. We went to a cafe for lunch, we got these things called pizza wraps, which essentially was a pizza just folded, which a bit weird but it was really nice and there's plenty of cafes to have cake and coffee or tea or fizzy drinks or whatever you prefer i'm kind of gutted we didn't get cake but it was still a good time and i can't wait to go again so that is everything for today's video i hope you liked it it was a little bit different if you did please give it a thumbs up it really supports me and my channel leave me a comment down below leave me the stack of books emoji if you don't want to say anything but you want to let me know that you're here really appreciate that let me know down below if you've ever been to Hay, if you've got any book places you think I should check out. I really love the idea of just travelling to different places to see what book stuff they have just on offer. I think that'd be so, so fun. And if you want to see more of me and see more of my book adventures and all the other content that I have coming, please consider subscribing down below and ringing that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload new videos. I currently upload on a Wednesday and on a Sunday, so be sure to stick around for more bookish content from me. But otherwise, that is everything for today's video. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!